may I ask uh, the constructors, no? Ben Asel Ponio, Leo Gutierrez, to please come at the, at the front to officially turn over uh, this building to uh, uh, to Central Philippine University. No? So at the same time, may I call on uh, Sir Ted uh, Robles, Attorney Vaughn, uh, Engineer and Kanyoto, no? the Chair of the Physical Facilities, uh, Vice uh, Chairman, uh, Attorney Peter uh, Corvera, to please come here at the front uh, so that the team of uh, the constructor uh, will turn over officially this building uh, to them. Okay? Uh, so will the team with the uh, contractors please uh, turn over or uh, how do you do that? <laughs> Good afternoon to everybody. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Uh, it is with uh, deep honor uh, that after several months of uh, <laughs> uh, painstaking effort uh, surmounting all uh, uh, problems, big and small, we are deeply appreciative to the management of uh, Central Philippine University to turn, the, turn the, uh, this facility over to the management. And uh, in that sense, uh, we have prepared a, a historical, uh, um, shall we call it, book to uh, turn over to you. This will uh, show from the very beginning, from contract signing to the different stages of the construction. So it is with the gratitude that we are turning this uh, book to you, President Robles. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Ben Asel Punio, uh, the contractor for this uh, project. And with him is the uh, director, Leo Gutierrez. And uh, thank you very much uh, to the support of the Board of Trustees uh, led by our Chairman and Vice Chairman, Attorney Bon Lovell Bedona and Attorney Peter Irving Corvera. And of course, the hard work of the Physical Facilities Committee headed by the, chair, the Chairman, uh, Engineer Edi Canuto. And may I request the members of the Physical Facilities Committee who are here, please stand. Reverend Hope Santiago, uh, Mr. Uh, Engineer Ruben Armadillo, and not present today is uh, Dr. Uh, Sam Gilergan. Did I miss anybody? <laughs> oh, Mr. Carl de la Pina, who is not here today. So thank you very much for your efforts. And it was uh, a long journey from the beginning to the end and many challenges in between, starting with the foundation and then, of course, up to the roof structure. And we're happy that uh, this building has finally been completed. And I'm sure that our students and faculty and staff will be happy to move to this facility. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you for this 
uh, we're happy that now we have a document of what happened during those months that uh, we have been constructing this building. Thank you. Let us now proceed to our dedication service. May I request everybody to please stand and uh, please refer to your uh, program. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So let us sing this song, give thanks, give thanks, sing, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ. His Son, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Yes, indeed, our Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with thanksgiving and gratitude, even as we continue to enjoy your faithfulness to Central Philippine University. We thank you that we can gather together to officially de dedicate this building for your honor and for your glory. Lord, we thank you for the commitment of this school, especially into uh, nurturing students, that they may grow not only, uh, Lord, in the things, in the academic aspect, but also spiritually. We pray and we invoke your presence to be upon us gathered here today, even as we have this dedication service. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. So at this time, I ask again uh, uh, Dr. Robles, together with Attorney Ivon, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, uh, Vice Chairman of the Board, Vice, Pres uh, Vice President, Vice Chairman Peter Irving Corvera, uh, the Chair of the uh, the facility, Physical Facilities Committee, uh, Engineer Ed Cañuto, uh, together with, uh, uh, at the background, we can ask that the principal of the senior high and uh, all the other members of uh, the committee, the Physical, uh, physical Facilities uh, Committees, to please join us over here for the cutting of the ribbon. Uh, may I request also the Vice Presidents who are present right now. Uh, Vice President uh, Joniel Howard Rico, uh, BP Bugasha, and uh, BP Irving uh, Rio.
So you may return to your seats even as we uh, at this time listen to the statement of purpose and uh, also the welcome, the words of welcome by our president, uh, Chidoro C. Robles, PhD president. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, before I begin, I'd like to request uh, the members of the CPO Board of Trustees and the CPO Corporation to be to stand to be recognized. Uh, these are the men and women who are responsible for making decisions uh, that made us um, provide this facility for our senior high school students. So thank you very much. Four years ago, the Philippine government decided to reform the Philippine education and to be on par with the other countries, it was decided that two additional years will be required of our students in high school before they can be admitted to college. So we know the challenges that we will be facing at that time. And um, the response was we needed to build facilities for our senior high school students. So the first year, we were able to use the existing facilities of the school because there were no first-year college student. But then we recognize that there is a need to provide this facility, and so the Board of Trustees approved the recommendation of the President to build a facility for the senior high school. At first, we thought that we will have only 300 students, so we planned a two-story structure. Then as reservations came in, it kept building up, and so it became four floors, five floors in a U formation, and then we said it's not enough, so we decided to make it a quadrangle. But we wanted the first floor to be open so that there would be a good flow of air, as you can feel right now, to make this facility more comfortable for our students. So, in 2017, we had a groundbreaking ceremony in this area, and two years later, we were able to overcome all challenges, and now we have these facilities, although the chairs are not here yet completely, because we will be using them during our commencement exercises on Sunday. Perhaps we will have more than 5,000 uh, attendees, including the graduates, and so we need as many cha chairs as we could uh, bring over there. So we decided not to provide arms to these chairs yet, so that we can utilize them there. As you can see, we have decided that this building should provide a lot of natural light to reduce the uh, cost of electricity, and also to make it well ventilated. And we're happy that this was completed, and uh, the elevator is functioning. And uh, if you look around, the first floor are mainly classrooms. The second floor will have the office of the principal, a conference room, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I will recommend to the board that the director will be renamed principal. 
as recommended by the uh, Department of Education. So on the second floor, there are laboratories and classrooms in the uh, uh, faculty uh, uh, room, conference room, and of course the principal's office. Then on the third floor, we have some more labs and classrooms and the library. And the fourth floor, uh, the fourth, uh, um, or oh, the second floor has the library. The third floor has the computer lab and two other laboratories. And then the fourth floor, we have another computer lab, classrooms. And the fifth floor, we have a three classroom size, which can also be made into uh, a single room. That will be for the audio visual uh, facility. So uh, we thank the uh, support of our students for the last few years who have contributed to this facility with their tuition and of course other fees that we were able to save. This facility was constructed without any loans or donations from alumni. The only donation that we got was for the naming rights of the classroom. So, so far we had three classrooms with each alum, uh, alumni contributing a million pesos for its, uh, the naming rights for the classroom. So we are open to more uh, naming of classrooms. If anybody here is interested to have their name uh, engraved on the classroom door or wall, uh, you can come and see me and we will be happy to accommodate your request. So again, uh, we are happy that this has been completed and ready to go by June uh, when classes uh, open. We will need to provide tables, uh, chairs, and other stuff that will make this um, facility um, comfortable and useful for our students and faculty and staff. So thank you very much for your presence. And if you look at your left, there is another building that we would like to construct for, we will call it a research and development center, but it will house the uh, classrooms and offices of the College of Medicine, College of Law, and perhaps we will include the College of uh, uh, Laboratory Sciences because we are expecting uh, overcrowding in the LDT building. So again, thank you, and uh, we appreciate very much your presence this afternoon. May I invite you for the reading of the scriptures? Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. And Psalm, Psalm chapter 90, verse 17, May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And the basis for my short reflection, Psalm 127, verse 1, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. Sometimes, um, this verse in Psalm 127, verse 1, is being used in the context of marriage. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. But this verse applies to all areas of life. Whatever we do, the Lord is the best foundation of everything that we do. His will is the best blueprint in whatever endeavor we will take. Fulfilling His purpose 
that results in God's glory and the building up of God's people should be His people's utmost desire, should be the energy that propels our actions. These should be the principles that inspire that would inspire our act of dedication this afternoon. And so, we are very happy that today we are looking at this finished edifice. Katahom, kag, uh, kaname, sang pag So, we are reveling upon the beauty of our handiwork. But behind this visible structure are intangible, yet more essential assets that made it possible for us to finish this edifice. Isa na dira ang vision sa aton mga leaders, the vision of our leaders to provide for the perceived needs of our institution. The sense of mission of our donors and administrators to invest on something that contributes to the molding of life the building of Christian character and values. And also, we do not want to forget the many hours of labor from our engineers, architects, construction crew, and everybody's faith in God's provision or provisions. So this dedication service, therefore, is our public expression of gratitude to God, who is the source of every good and perfect blessing. The only sure and firm foundation of our lives and of our life together as a community of faith. So, a public expression of gratitude to God. Second, it is also a public declaration of intent. So the Lord has provided for us. Therefore, we declare our intention to be responsible stewards of God's gift that we will take care of it, ensure its safety and the safety of the occupants, and also use it for the very purpose why it was constructed. And lastly, it is also the community's petition for God's blessings. That the Lord will protect this building and its occupants from calamities and, and damage. And of course, we also pray the for the maximization of its potential so amo ini ang purpose nga nagtipon kita and it is my prayer that the lord will be glorified um, with our intention to give him glory and honor for this precious gift given to us amen again at this time i call on uh, Dr. Robles, together with Attorney Vaughn, uh, Attorney Peter Corvera, uh, Engineer Ed Canyoto, uh, uh, mem the members of the, probably members of the board of trustees. If you're present, if you're, uh, if it's okay, if you can come together with uh, the principal of the senior high uh, to do the honors of unveiling the marker. Shall we all stand and uh, let's read together our litany of dedication. Uh, if the members also have a copy of their of the program, so let us read uh, responsibly. Sisters and brothers, we rejoice that God has made it possible for Central Philippine University to construct the senior high school building. 
let us de dedicate this place to God, who in His own time makes all things beautiful. To the glory of God who guides and sanctifies us in all that we seek to do. For this place to be a haven of God's love, compassion, and grace. For God's protection and blessing of this place and all who will use this edifice. Let us also read together our dedicatory prayer. Begin. God, our all-provident Father, you have placed the earth and its fruit under our care, so that by our labor we will endeavor to ensure that all shares in the benefits of your creation. Bless all those who will use this facility, the senior high school building, and all who will use it with your divine presence so that the atmosphere of the mutual respect, concern, and compassion permeate through every corner of this facility. In doing so, they will see themselves as working for the common good and find joy in contributing to the progress of the whole inhabited world. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God, sing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and faithfulness. We thank you that it is through you that you allow this to be part of Central Philippine University, the Senior High School building. And now we ask, O oh Lord, that you bless us all and bless, O oh Lord, those who have labored in this place, that all these things of God will, be, will give all the praises and glory to your name. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So good afternoon and congratulations. <laughs>